some seemingly non-essential features in iOS and some app features that will make your flying with the iPad much easier. In this segment, we'll walk you through some iOS and app features that you really need to master before flying with your iPad. If you're completely new to the iPad and want some basic training, we recommend that you look at the resources available at support.apple.com and lynda.com. The first feature we're going to take a look at are app updates. iOS apps are constantly being improved and new updates seem to be released almost daily. And here's what it looks like when there's an update to one or more of your applications. If you look to the upper right, you can see the App Store has a badge on it telling you the number of apps that need to be updated. So let's tap on the App Store to launch it, and then we'll tap on the Updates tab at the lower right. This brings up the list of apps that need to be updated. We recommend that you go through this list and review the changes one by one. Be advised that some of these can be major changes in how the app operates. So we can update each app individually, or we can tap the Update All button at the upper right to start downloading all the new apps at once. Now when we go back to the group that's holding these apps, you can see that a small progress bar has been added to each app that's going to be updated. ForeFlight on the far left is being updated, while the other apps are paused and waiting for ForeFlight to complete. Once all the updates are complete, you can now see that ForeFlight is also displaying a badge indicating that it needs some databases to be updated as well. We'll cover that after we finish with the iOS features. I have an advisory for you. Don't update your apps the night before a flight. You might find that the new app causes something to break and this could render the app out of service for your flight. Instead, we recommend only upgrade your apps when you know you have the time to deal with any unexpected consequences. The next iOS feature we're going to take a look at is the system settings. So we'll tap on settings to bring up the system settings. The first feature we're going to point out is airplane mode. When you turn this on, it disables all the radios in the iPad so they won't interfere with your avionics. Next, we'll take a look at the General tab and work our way down the General Settings. If we have any Bluetooth accessories, we'll need to turn the Bluetooth radio back on after entering airplane mode. The next set of settings has to do with iPad locking. We don't want our iPad to lock while we're in flight, so first we set Auto Lock to Never. Then in case we accidentally do lock the iPad, we want to disable the passcode so we can get back to our charts quickly. Keep in mind that if your iPad has been issued to you by a company, this feature may be disabled and you'll have to deal with an iPad that locks and has passcodes to unlock. Finally, we want to disable the magnetic cover lock and unlock feature by turning it off. Moving down, we set the side switch function to lock rotation. This allows us to easily prevent the iPad from changing orientation on us in turbulence. And finally, we turn multitasking gestures to be on. This allows us to switch between apps easily by four finger swiping left or right. So that's how I like to set up my general settings for flying with the iPad. The third iOS feature we're going to look at is backups. You can backup your iPad in one of two ways, to your computer using iTunes or to iCloud. We're going to show you how to set up iCloud backups because they are by far the easiest to deal with. Note, however, that the iCloud backup only lets you restore the entire iPad, not individual applications. To get started, we tap on the iCloud tab in Settings. Once we've set up our iCloud account, then we tap on Storage and Backup. Simply tap iCloud Backup to turn that feature on. Note, when using an iCloud backup, Backups will no longer be made to iTunes automatically. Now that iCloud Backup is on, your iPad will automatically back up anytime it's plugged in, locked, and connected to Wi-Fi. And if you want to start a backup manually, simply tap Backup Now. The fourth feature we're going to look at is how to power off and reset your iPad. To power off the iPad, hold down the power button continuously until you see the power off slider. Then, slide the power off. To turn it back on, press the power button to turn on the device. Occasionally, you may need to reset the iPad if it becomes totally unresponsive. 
You do this by holding down both the home button and the power button simultaneously until you see the white Apple logo. This takes about 10 seconds. Once you see the logo, you can release the buttons and the iPad will reboot automatically. So the problem is you have a frozen app. So let's just use flightplan.com as an example. So here, the app has frozen. I've been unable to close it and I'm unable to actually turn off the iPad. So I'm gonna do the hard reset. To do a hard reset, I'm gonna hold down the on off sleep wake button at the same time that I hold the home button down. So I push them together, holding them down, and I'm waiting till I get the Apple logo. Once I see the Apple logo, there it is, I let go. Now you've done the hard reset. The fifth iPad feature we're going to look at is the recently used apps list. To access the recently used apps list, you can either simply double tap on the home button or you can use a four finger swipe upward to reveal the list. You can easily switch apps this way by tapping on an icon to launch the desired app. And to see all of your recent apps, you can swipe from right to left. If you swipe the opposite direction, left to right, you can access some system settings, most importantly, the system brightness settings. I find it really useful to only have the apps I need for flight shown in this list. So for me to clean up the list, I simply tap and hold until all the icons are jiggling. Now you see the red minus signs on each icon? Simply by tapping a minus sign, it removes the app from the list. <laughs>